As y'all probably know by now, I'm pretty much a New Edge Mustang Mustang fanboy. I like them so much. There's not many things on these cars that really irk me, but one of the things that really does is the gauge cluster. Now, I'm just not a huge fan of the gray on the black gauges. It's just not, it's not great, and it's not the easiest to see, you know, when the sun's like right in your face. Kind of sounds like an old man saying that, but today we're gonna change that out. We're gonna put some white overlays in there to make it one, look better, and two, a little easier to see. I'm gonna give you all the run through on how we're going to install this. Now, first things first, working anything electrical, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery just to be safe. Also, lots of changes coming with the car, and look at that. We got a Mustang emblem. What do y'all think? Do you prefer it with the emblem or without? I kinda dig it. Getting the gauge cluster out is a simple, simple process. We just have to remove these two T20 screws right up here. Then we come over here to the knob. This comes out with a pick. I'll show you how to do it. Then this whole face comes off. And you see mine's cracked. We actually have a new one uh, that has some updated goodies in it. Now that we have the cluster surround out, we can start getting the actual cluster itself out. So you can see there's these T20 screws all the way around. You're gonna wanna go around, take those out. Helps to have either a magnetic screwdriver or a magnet around so you don't lose these things. Also note, see how dirty it is? We're gonna go ahead and clean this up while we have it out. It's always a good idea when you have a part, you know, taken apart or you have a, an area, access to an area that you don't usually have access to, go ahead and clean it up. What does it hurt? Once you get the gauge coming out, you want to go ahead and remove the electrical connections. There's one on each side. Yeah, there we go. Really? Super simple to get this thing out. Now, we're gonna take this thing inside because of air conditioning, and we're gonna go ahead and work on it. I know there's bolts around here, you're gonna need a five and a half millimeter or uh, a Torx. I'll let you know what size Torx. Uh, take this apart, clean it up on the inside, do yourself a favor, and we'll put the overlays on. Now we just have to remove all of these screws around. You can either use a five and a half millimeter or you can use a T15 like I'm going to. Now, once we have that done, we can simply pop the top off. Now we're good to go down to the gauges so we can install the overlay. Now is also a really good time if you have any dirt or anything here in your gauges, go ahead and clean it up before you start putting the overlay on and definitely before you start reassembling everything. Here are the overlays we're going to be using. They're awesome, just white overlays, pretty simple. You can get these on eBay. They're not very expensive, but they're really going to freshen up the whole look of the cluster. Now just be careful when you're installing these that you're you know, gentle with the needles. You don't wanna, don't wanna hurt them as we're putting these things on. You can see they line up with the holes for the bolts. Make your life just a little bit easier. Now, once we're satisfied with how this looks, we're gonna go ahead and carefully put the cover back on. Again, make sure it's all cleaned up before you do that. You don't wanna have to take this out again. Real quick note, before installing this, test it. Just like anything, just like we did with the headlights, test this to make sure it works. Save yourself a world of hurt. Now that we got the overlays actually in the cluster, it's time to start wiring things to get the cluster back in the car. I'm gonna show you how I wired this, where I put wires, and how we're gonna make this thing run. So, the power wire right here, we connected to the blue and white wire on my car. It is the top wire, so this top wire right here on the 
headlight, you know, switch assembly. You know I hate these clips. I just, I had to use one because I didn't want to cut anything. It is what it is. Uh, the ground wire, we came over to this bolt right there behind the dash. You can see we just ran the ground wire over there and we tested it and I don't know if y'all can see it. There it is. Nice and blue. So we hooked it up to that wire right there so it works off of the factory dimmer and we don't have to use this bad boy except if we want to change color. So this just stays on full all the time. We'll hide this up there under the dash. Now putting that back in the car, it's basically exactly the same steps as taking it off, just in reverse, except for the fact that we have to find a place to mount that. So I'm gonna get to work getting this put back in. I'll show you all what we do about mounting that down there. The gauge cluster is in, and man, it looks so sweet. So I would tell you where I mounted that like little dimmer switch thing, but I really didn't. I just shoved it down a hole where it's sure to rattle like crazy. So, so that's good. Now we have to worry about the cluster surround or whatever you want to call it. Not quite sure we're going to use the new one I was talking about. I'll show you why. Now the new one, it looks really cool and it has some spots for gauges, which I have one of, but the back doesn't really have any of the clips, which I don't know how it's going to work. We're gonna put it on, we'll just give it a try. You know, I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good, except for the holes right here, because my gauges, well, gauge, I only have one gauge. So before we put that one in permanently, uh, we need to do a couple things. One, we need to get another gauge, so we don't have a hole. And two, we need to figure out the, uh, the mounting situation. You can see on the OEM one, see all the clips that are all around? We don't have that. This one does have a crack, which is fine. This isn't gonna be permanent. We're just temporarily gonna put the old one back on. Uh, so we can figure out the situation with the new one. We are officially done and oh man, does it look so much better. That is such an improvement of the factory. It's kind of hard to see right now because well, it's bright outside. Turns out Stephenville's finest wanted to see the new gauges too. Good for me. Yeah, that was just a little bit awkward. So I got pulled over for failure to yield to an emergency vehicle. It's kind of a technicality that I didn't even know. For your information, if an emergency vehicle is coming on the road, you have to come to a complete stop. So there's an ambulance coming on the other side of the road. I pulled over, was probably doing like 10 miles an hour. I was right where third gear was about to stall. I just didn't want to stop. And uh, yeah, police car was behind me. They pulled me over. I made it about one block from the house. So that's good. Anyway, the police were super cool. They were super nice, super respectful. Always be respectful. It's gonna pay off in the end. We didn't get a ticket, just got some warnings. So. All is right with the world. Now, not only are these new gauges super sick, we also got a nice little fancy warning to go along with them. Uh, so I say definitely worth the price of admission. In all seriousness though, I couldn't be more happy with how these things turned out. They are just so awesome. And they work with the factory dimmer, so they go as bright or as dim as you want them to be. All in all, the gauge overlays are totally, totally worth it, especially these. I got mine for 20 bucks. I'll link down in the description below a comparable kit. Usually they come with the AC piece as well. We didn't get that. But if you want to freshen up the look of your interior, it's definitely, definitely a good option. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. I appreciate you being here and coming along with our little police encounter. Just so much fun. Now an exhaust is coming soon. That is the next big mod for the Mustang. If you want to see that, be sure you hit that subscribe button. But just like always, y'all keep it classy when you're out there changing the world like I know you will. And I'll catch y'all real soon.